Hey y'all, thanks for joining me again. Uh, I've got my arrows put back together with uh, some reduced weight in the tips. I took about 20 grains out of each of them, so I'm down to 110 on each of the inserts. Um, hopefully that'll help correct a little bit. I did tighten up the spring on my plunger a little bit as well. So I'm gonna do a little bit of slow-mo and uh, try to get some tuning in. It's really cold out here right now and uh, kind of breezy. So I'm gonna go real quick, um, zip a bunch of arrows, try to get 20 if I'm feeling spry enough to do that. Um, and then uh, look at the footage and, and see what adjustments I'll need to make at that point. So I'll try to get another 20 arrows in. Uh, Y'all enjoy. But this first round, I'm just gonna do some regular old shooting here without doing slow-mo, just to kind of feel some kind of form. Make sure I'm doing the right stuff. Let's call it seven. Took a little weight out of there, I don't know. Hopefully it don't fly too bad. So again, like yesterday, I'm going to sling some uh, fleshed ones first and then go to bear shafts. Uh, I'm not really going to get a whole lot of data out of that, just watching it this way. When I go to slow-mo, I'll get a lot more data. They're definitely still jumping funny, and I can see it in flight. They're not coming off the bow. Absolutely true. And I went back to my original knocking position because it looked like it when I, when I started knocking over here yesterday underneath this thing, um, these were flying funny, so I don't know how much of that had to do with the fact that it's a different shaft than those full metal jackets or what. So, let's see what these look like real quick. So, left, right's not too bad. I'm going to pull these and then go do some slow-mo, try to get some data, and I'll just go ahead and burn through all the rest of these 15.
that last one, I really tried to focus on what I was doing. Let me set this down. And uh, hopefully it can give me some decent information. I know that one of my fletched ended up a little left of where I was aiming. Yeah. So it looks like as far as consistency goes, those last two bear shafts were definitely high left still. Uh, but I gotta look at that slow-mo, see what uh, see what it looks like. Um, my form is just not in a position that's uh, consistent in any way for me to get as much data out of this as I need to. But I can certainly start trying to tune it a little bit more. I might take a little bit of length out of these arrows. Um, maybe I can reduce the draw weight on this bow a little bit too. And then uh, if I have to, I can take some more weight out of those points. I can take another 30 grains out of them if I wanted to. But I'm back to the lab. Y'all take care. Alright y'all, I ended up uh, pulling the points out of these, taking 20 grains out of each of them, and then chopping down the arrows another 7 eighths of an inch. So I'm down to 29 and a half inches long on these. Um, it's dark out now, so I'll mess around a little bit in the backyard tomorrow to try to see if these will group a little bit better. And uh, yeah. Oh, also I moved up uh, my knocking point, maybe eighth of an inch, if that, probably eighth of an inch. Um, see if I can tighten these up. I looked at that slow-mo and it looked like I'm still, um, the, the spine is too weak, so taking weight out of the front and shortening the arrow should correct some of that. I don't know if it'll correct all of it. Um, and then uh, moving up the knocking point to, to fix that. 10, the, the trend of bear shafts hitting higher than the uh, uh, fletch shafts. So that's where I'm at. Uh, thanks for joining me. Y'all take care.